Alrighty, well, it's a little overdue, but it's here anyways. It's that time of week for the Facebook Q&A on OTRS Central. This will be broken up into two parts. This is part one, part two will follow soon after. So let's get started with this. Hopefully your questions don't suck. Hopefully my answers don't suck because God knows this road to WrestleMania 31 is most certainly the big time suck. Darren Anthony Tracy wants to know, when are we going to see an OTRS crew reunion? Damn it. Well, damn it. It's going to require all of us probably being in the same town at the same time, which would mean more likely than not that I would have to go back to Waterloo, Iowa, which at some point in time I'm sure I will. Hopefully one of these years soon, whether it be this year or more likely than not, next year or the year after, for the Trago Says Hall of Fame weekend at the Dan Gable Museum in Waterloo, Iowa, at that point in time you would get one big OTRS crew reunion of awesome. Until that time, it's not going to happen. But you never know. Yeah, never know. James Thomas Jr., more likely at WrestleMania 31. John Cena taps out clean to Rusev. Her Undertaker loses his second Mania match in a row. Uh, this time to Bray Wyatt. <laughs> you preface this question. I ask you, what's more likely to happen? Then you put Cena tapping out as one of the options. What the fuck do you think is the more likely thing to happen? <laughs> Cena tapping out to Rusev. <laughs> I needed that one. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Mike Spence Jr., what time do you think Brock is going to show up at Mania? Uh, after the main event or 15 minutes after the bell rings? Well, physically, he'll probably be there early in the day, mentally. Uh, and psychologically, he probably will never check in. <laughs> oh God. I can't wait to see his fucking potential train wreck on March 29th. Praise God. <laughs> Brandon Akins. Which would WrestleMania 20 have been better if we got Rock versus HBK, Orton versus Foley, and Benoit versus Triple H? Um, no. Nah, I don't know that it would have been better. Nathan Cooper, who do you want to win the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, and who do you think will win it? I'd love to see Mark Henry do it for my own reasons. If not, then clearly Ryback. Uh, who do I think will win it? For some reason, I think The Miz. Maybe that's a guy that should win. It's, he could take something like winning the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal and make something out of it and make it mean something. And the WWE wouldn't bury him after winning it. So I'd be all for The Miz winning that Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal because I would understand what it means. Ryan Smith, who was the one guy you didn't think would ever become a star and ended up being one, and who was the one guy that you thought would be a star and never ended up being one? Uh, in terms of the thought he would be a star and he really never ended up being one, I'll look at somebody like maybe Ahmed Johnson. In terms of the guy who I thought would never become a star in WWE and he ended up being one anyways, i got to go Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. Kenny Sanchez Newman. Would Tess be a top star in today's WWE? Last Roman Reigns. <laughs> test. Test. This is a test. I didn't take no steroids. I didn't take no steroids. Test. Test. This is a test. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what Roman Reigns is. He's got the less charismatic parts of Diesel. And He's got some of the build of Tess, but not quite the same. <laughs> All right. Liam da Daly. Uh, good day, Schleg Daddy. Longtime viewer. Isn't it ironic everyone complains WWE Divas only get three minutes yet? Their Ronda Rousey UFC title match ended in 14 seconds. Uh, you didn't really finish that question, I don't think, so I don't get where that's ironic. Really, one doesn't really have to do anything with the other. Um, no, I think it's ironic that a lot of the same people that are hopping on to give Divas a chance crap would be the same one that would be shitting all over the WWE if they actually did give the Divas a chance. Come on, let's be fucking serious here. This is just a way for a lot of people to vent their frustration in a different way towards the WWE and just be a part of something. But a lot of these same fucking people don't give a shit about the fucking Divas. And if the Divas did get time and they got storylines and they got fucking... Uh, time for their matches. People would be still talking about it being a fucking piss or shit break. They'd be still talking about how they don't give a fuck about them. Period. Plain and simple. That's the ironic thing. Uh, let's see here. 
Uh, David Die. Fuck Mary Kill. Trish. Nikki Bella. Molly Holly. Uh, you gotta fuck Trish. You gotta marry Molly Holly and then the other one, yeah. Uh, Roland Montenegro. How many Bucky Teeth dipshits does it take to book just one hour of Raw? Well, Kevin Dunn does a bang-up job of it, that's for sure. Jerron Foster. Do you think Bray Wyatt versus Undertaker match should happen? No. No, I believe I've talked about this at great length about why I don't want to see it. I think it's the wrong match to do for the wrong reasons, and I just think it's stupid. Uh, Shane Delane. Why do fans call each other marks for certain wrestlers when they are, in fact, marks themselves for a different wrestler? Well, you know, it's kind of the whole thing. It's all an identity crisis. And you got the people in the business that don't believe they are the marks that they are, and you got the people outside of the business who want to act like they're in the business who don't want to pretend to be the marks that they actually are. Everybody involved with wrestling is fucking a mark, period. You have two types of idiots when it comes to professional wrestling, the people that know and acknowledge their marks, and the people that try to deny that they're marks. We're all marks. It's true. If you comment about how you're not a mark, and you come on a wrestling video and comment on a wrestling video, or you watch a wrestling-related video, or you watch professional wrestling, you are a fucking mark. Stop being stupid. Michael Lacanti, fuck, Mary kill, and Coulter, Rachel Maddow, and Mega Kelly. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can, 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 can we can we plead can we plead celibacy? Um, no, Megan Kelly out of the three by far is the one you'd want to wake up to and repeatedly uh, have intercourse with. So Megan Kelly's got to go in the Mary file uh, or the Kelly file, whatever. Shut the fuck up. Just like so many of those Fox News ditz-headed, empty-headed bimbos. Ugh. At least Fox has a formula. They know that the white racist male over 65 and the incompetent knucklehead nincompoops otherwise outside of that that watch that fucking network will get off to watching the ditzy dumb heifers like Meg and Kelly who sit and trot out these ridiculous narratives that are passed down from Roger Ailes and Murdoch and what have you. Uh, I guess you have to fuck Coltergeist in her freaking... Uh, Feminazi butthole? I don't know. God. Who would want to have sex with that thing? Seriously. Al Yassid Johnson, were you surprised that Deluxe Man finally just responded to your claim that Brian Ziegler fans weren't angry at their insignificant roles at WrestleMania 31? No. He told me he was going to respond. That was the whole thing about it. Trying to get people to respond. Wake people fucking up because it is fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. Period. One thing, Daniel Bryan didn't main event WrestleMania 31, but Christ sakes, he didn't even have a featured match at WrestleMania 31. He hasn't been a featured part of anything for WrestleMania 31. He's been a second-tier player for a second-fiddle belt at WrestleMania. Seriously. He was a throw-in to the IC title ladder match. He was a throw-in. A throw-in. He's still being treated like he's a throw-in. And also, are you shocked that Lexman claimed that you're jealous of him rocking a Hulk Hogan hat <laughs> better than you could, dismissing the closeted muscle mark claim? Uh, well, number one, I would rock the Hogan hat a hell of a lot better than he does. Number two, if he's not a closeted muscle mark, then why would he be wearing said Hulk Hogan hat in a video where he's talking about Daniel Bryan and Dolph fucking Ziggler? <laughs> I believe that's a... Score one for the Schleg Daddy, if you will. Nick Anderson, you're obviously a Bears fan, obviously, because I'm an idiot. So what can I expect from Henry Melton and Chris Conti on my bucks? Uh, Chris Conti won't finish any games, and if he does play, when he does play, he'll get burned. He'll make two spectacular interceptions and get burned 30 times in the passing game. He'll get trucked, truck sticked like 20 times, and then he'll get concussed twice in the season. Henry Melton... Is a guy that could play a little bit of the Tank Johnson role to uh, Gerald McCoy's Tommy Harris. That could be a nice potential one-two pass rushing combination on the inside in that Tampa Bay uh, system. So we'll see what happens. They won't get anything out of Henry Melton as a run stuffer, but that's not what Lovey's bringing him in for. He believes in pass rushers up the middle, those three techniques. Uh, Steven Jacobson was tossed an underrated wrestler, uh, maybe just a little bit. 
But, I mean, he, he never really had big star potential, I don't think. Uh, let's see. Chris Young, do you think the Triple H and Sting program is just an attempt by WWE to make up for what they couldn't do during the invasion angle? Or do you think it's just another one of Vince's out-of-touch ideas when we all know it should be Sting and Taker at WrestleMania 31? No, this is called God Needs a Big Time Mania Payout, seven-figure type. He sees Sting coming in. He wants to be the guy to have the notch on the belt to say, he's the one that worked the first WWE match with Sting. This has got Triple H written all fucking over it. What a skilled and masterful politician he truly is. You know he was begging for this. He was pining for this. He was campaigning for this. He was pleading for this. He was begging for this. He was getting on his knees for this. Oh, yeah, this is all about Triple H and Triple H alone, period. Nick Perkins, are you surprised at all? GFW is being delayed again because they can't get a TV deal. No, it's a fucking stupid Jeff Jarrett vanity project that shouldn't be taken seriously that we should stop fucking talking about. Verwin Asker Vargas, who do you think are the favorites to win the ladder match in the Battle Royal at Mania? Uh, I don't know if the favorites at this point to win either match. Who the fuck knows? I don't think WWE certainly knows. And frankly, at this point in time, who really fucking cares? Ryan Monroe, what match deserves to main event WrestleMania 31? Again, does any do any of them? Doesn't matter. And do we fucking care? Brandon Harden, who do you hate more? Jeff Jarrett or Dino Bravo? Jeff Jarrett's still alive. Dino Bravo's kind of a gag and kind of a joke and a half. You know, but not Jeff Jarrett, not even close. Stephen Bradley, what should our stipulation be at WrestleMania? You don't have a stipulation because you don't have anything at WrestleMania because nobody gives a shit. Got it? Seriously, Piznik, you're gonna have you're gonna have a promo face off with me. And you think it's gonna end well for you? I don't know what your whole obsession with this. You think your oil city's finest? I don't know, but that's dumb. Just go book it on your fucking video game and pretend like you could beat me in that type of stipulation. It's ridiculous. Uh, David Bent, should Hulk Hogan support Axelmania? Why the fuck not? If they're going to go that far with the ripoff shit, then why the hell not? Who is odd? If Reigns still wins at WrestleMania, how do you make the fans root for him again? I don't know if you do. I don't even know if it fucking matters. Uh, Kiri and George, what's your take on the anonymous message that was sent to Kanye West? I didn't know that there was a message sent to Kanye West. Hopefully the message was, stop being a dipshit. And if you can't stop being a dipshit, then shut the fuck up. And P.S. How's Ray J's sloppy seconds, bitch? Duke Morris. What I meant by polka dust is dusty and face paint and a pleather suit. Also, your crust ash is something to be jealous of. <laughs> he said Crustat. That's fucking awesome. Duke bringing the heat. Polka dust and now Crustash. Hashtag Crustash. Hashtag awesome. Lamar Liffridge, do you think WCW Uncensored 95 is one of, if not the worst pay-per-views of all time? WrestleMania 9 would put up a big stink about that. Many other uh, Vince Russo book WCW pay-per-views in 99 would say otherwise. Uh, December to Dismember would most certainly say otherwise. Alberto Torres, do you think gimmick matches are too much to handle if they don't live up to their usefulness? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not sure what you're really getting at with the question, bud, but I think it's more so that gimmick matches can be overdone at times, CTNA, or you could have gimmick matches where they're, the match itself isn't really booked uh, in a way that it makes sense to even have the stipulation of the match See the WWE. If you have a given ma gimmick match, that's fine, but it needs to be appropriately placed, appropriately set up to, and appropriately booked. And you don't get that out of the top companies in this country today. So thanks for you guys that submitted your questions for part one of this Q&A, whatever the fuck. Part two is coming up soon, if any of you are even watching.